Hello, and welcome to Bessler's Darkroom. We're here at the home office. I'm sorry you couldn't be with us live like other shows, but we're going to be here in the darkroom doing a little bit of printing with Bessler enlargers, also some Ilford paper and chemistry. So come on in, let's make some black and white prints. Hello, Vicki here, and I'm standing next to our 45 VXL enlarger with our 8278L all LED light source color head. Um, it has the three dials for magenta, cyan, and yellow. This is our top of the line enlarger. The head has just been released within the past three years. And we have people that have used it, tested it, and rave about it. So we're very proud of this. This is, this is a first for us and the new technology. This enlarger will handle negatives from 35 millimeter all the way on up through 4x5 film. Um, and raising the column will actually increase your projection onto the baseboard. And we do have accessories also to enlarge beyond what you can achieve on the baseboard as well. This is our 45 MXT enlarger, one of the most recognized 4x5 enlargers that Bessler produces. It has the U-shaped frame, and on this enlarger we have the condenser head for black and white. Filters can be inserted into the filter drawer. And Mike is going to demonstrate our motorized elevation. Right. So we can go up, we can go down, and we also have a manual fine tuning for setting your cropping or image size on there. It'll also tilt forward so that we can project on a wall if we need very large enlargements. This is our 23C enlarger, our most popular one. We offer this in three different types. Demonstrated here today, we have the 23C variable contrast head. It's also available in a condenser black and white head and a color head. The VC offers the dial filtration. You can set for different papers, Kodak, Ilford, AFA, and then of course using your center dial to um, decide which filters you, or filtration you want to use for your print. This is our printmaker 67 VC enlarger. This will handle medium formats. 35 millimeter up through 6 by 7. This is also variable contrast and has the dial filtration in the center. We also have a condenser head available for this as well. These heads also will be interchangeable with the 67XL in larger series with the wider, taller column. The VC67 is also available in red, green, and standard black. The Bessler Cadet 2 is meant for 35 millimeter negatives. It comes complete with a 50 millimeter lens, has a drawer for variable contrast filters, is also available in a complete starter kit with everything you needed to get started in a darkroom. This is the Bessler CS21 copy stand. This comes complete with a magnetic baseboard and magnetic strips. This is the 21. We also have it available in our CS14. Both of our copy stands have the option of a copy light arm set, which includes the reflectors and the light sockets. Okay, back to printing. What we're going to do is uh, talk for a second just about darkroom size and layout. This, of course, as you've seen, is rather luxurious. We have a lot of room here. You can make do in very small spots. My home darkroom was originally a half bath, and I would do up to 16 by 20 inch prints in that, so you can make do with almost anything. If you have the space, Again, it's, it's a luxury. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we also have separation of a dry side and a wet side in the room here. So the enlargers, the papers, everything that's handled dry will be on this side of the room. On the wet side, we have the trays with all the chemistry and a sink for rinsing off the prints and then a drying rack also. 
Okay, so we're going to set up for a first print. What we're going to do is we've selected a negative. And this one, let's see. We pick our negative, we have a strip of five negatives here, and I put it into the negative holder. Uh, the negative holder will actually keep them, help keep them flat so that they focus evenly across it, and then also locates it precisely. We put it in the enlarger. On this one, we just close it down. And when we flip the switches on the timer, we'll be able to set our contrast the various things. We're going to start out here maybe at a 2.5 for the Ilford paper that we're going to use. It's nice that Ilford paper, their variable contrast paper, started using over 45 years ago uh, and they're still doing development, that's a joke, work on it uh, and they've just come up with their latest versions of the variable contrast papers. With the negative in place, we're then going to set the enlarger head for the height I want to get the size of image and cropping that I want. And again, we just move it up and down like so. We can also be focusing it and using a little grain focuser to do that. This is a little uh, magnifier that sits on the paper, looks directly at the negative and focuses on the actual grain in the negative itself. So it tells you that the film is sharp, not whether the picture is sharp. Then once we have that in the dark, we're going to put our sensitized paper in there on the easel, we'll have everything set up, and then go to the timer. The timer uh, we will select for the exposure. We have f-stops just like on your camera on the lens that are adjustable, and also we can change the time on this particular unit, anything down to hundredths of a second. So we can make it as accurate as we want. It may not be quite that accurate today, but uh, it's nice to have the capability. Okay. What we have now is, in the dark, we're going to place a piece of paper. First, what I always like to do is use a paper of the same type and put it on the baseboard and use the back of it, a previous print, for focusing on. This way, if there's any discrepancies in the thickness or anything, I'm using the same stuff. I'll put my little grain focuser down there, flick on my timer onto focus. You can see some image on here. I'll get right down there and focus right on the grain of the negative. That looks good. I check my exposure. Now what I'll do is turn that timer out and then we're ready to go to expose. And here right now I've got it set for 15 seconds. This will give me a big countdown timer of where I am in the, in the process. Uh, we're ready to put some paper in. Another method you can do is on these enlargers, they also have a red filter and you can swing that into place so that you can project onto your actual paper uh, without exposing it. The red will protect it just like a safe light in the darkroom. And then just swing that out of the way to make the actual exposure. What we've also done with the negative, when we put it in, was sprayed it with a little canned air to clean any dust spots off it. Dust spots on your negative will come up as white spots on your print. You can fill them in later, but it's better just to brush it or spray it down with a, a canned air first. Get rid of the problems before they happen. When we take the paper out, we'll take our box of paper, here the Ilford paper, and inside it comes in a light proof bag. Okay? With our lights out and our safe lights, the red lights on, I will remove a sheet of paper from that. Okay? Here I have one out. Place it on the easel. Glossy paper, usually you can tell pretty easily whether it's uh, which side is which. On some of the matte surfaces or the pearl from Ilford, sometimes you can't quite tell which is which. So if need be, if you slightly dampen the edge of your thumb and just run it down the edge of the paper, it will stick to the emulsion side, that's the side we're using, and slide easily over the back. So you can tell which side is which. Is that glossy? Glossy is just glossy. Place that in the easel like that and then we're ready to make our image. Okay, we're working in the dark. So now we've removed a sheet of paper from our paper safe. It's a little more convenient than working out of a bag. We'll place it down on the easel. 
I can see this in the safe light. It may not show up on there completely. We've decided that about 13 and a half seconds was going to be about the proper exposure for this particular image. And now we'll just hit the button and off it runs. Okay. So we're projecting the image from the negative. You can see a negative image, reversed black and white, onto the sensitized paper. We're going to run at 13 and a half seconds. Now we're going to take the paper, head over to the wet side, and put the paper into the developer and see what happens there. Okay, as we move from the enlarger over to the wet side, we're going to place our print that we've exposed.